Michael Denson, uh, safety, Ann Arbor, Michigan. The ultimate goal really for me is just to find a way to win games. You know, no matter if we're up or down to like, just, you know, not stop working at 100%. Like, our, I honestly believe our ultimate goal is to win games and like change this culture. So that's what I'm looking forward to doing this season. Overall, man, these coaches are working with us. Like, these coaches are, are actually building relationships with us. Like, honestly, like I've never been so close to a coaching staff and I've been playing this game for 10 years. Uh, one thing that I love about Coach Creighton, like he's always around us, uh, always talking to us, always approaching us, getting to know us more, making it a family culture. Because la you know, the last couple of years, you know, we we preached that, you know, talked about family, but this year we actually, I actually feel like we have that. Like we're all close. It's it's amazing what his, what his coaching staff has like really done to us and like how he's you know selected great coaches and great leaders just to come and help change this program. It's amazing. Oh yeah, definitely without question. Uh, you know they they're saying they're they're showing me what great leadership can do, and you know hopefully in the future you know whatever I decide to go do you know I can be just as great as a leader as you know he's showing me right now. Be tough to me means you know never giving up even when you're facing adversity even when you're down. Uh, you know the weight can be on your back and it may be heavy you may be struggling but you don't quit. You keep pushing, you keep giving your all until like you reach your goal. To me, that's what eat tough means. You know, just never giving up, staying strong, being tough. Oh man, I was I was ecstatic. I, I was it actually caught me off guard, and I didn't think we I didn't think anything was gonna happen. But uh, when I heard about it, I was just excited. I'm like, really great turf, and we're calling it the factory. Uh, I mean, look at it now, it's beautiful. Uh, I, I'm excited to play on it. I mean, the the first and only team in the nation to have great turf. Like, that, that's nothing to be excited about. I don't know what is, but I was ecstatic about it. I like to meditate for like a couple minutes just to like get my mind right, get in that right frame of mind. Uh, Cause when I go out there, you know, I don't wanna be thinking negative or be thinking that I can't do this or can't do that. You know, I wanna be in that right mindset. Then after that, it's just listening to music that keeps me, you know, in that zone. And then right before we take the field, you know, give a little glory to God, say thank you for allowing me to be here today. You know, let's do this and take the field. You know, that's pretty much my ritual. Just uh, knowing that any time it can happen for me, because I guess the best thing I can, I guess I'm trying to say is like always just being prepared. Uh, yeah, it's difficult, you know, not knowing if you actually are going to play or not and being on the sidelines for so long, but. Uh, the best thing I try to do is just, you know, stay positive, pray to God, let him, you know, ask him for strength, you know, just to be patient, you know. And uh, honestly, that's taught me to actually to learn how to be more patient. So really, it's just my faith is what's kept me strong through it all. And I know eventually my shot's going, my shot, my opportunity is going to come. And when it comes, you know, I'm going to be ready. So that's the thing that helps me uh, stay motivated through all that. Long term, uh, probably being somewhere in sports journalism, maybe, or somewhere in uh, entertainment, maybe, uh, with my communication degree. Uh, you know, I've always been a big sports guy, uh, always loved talking about sports, so I kind of see myself having like my own talk show, maybe, or, you know, just somewhere kind of along in those areas, just being on camera, uh, you know, just talking about uh, any sports game, really. Well, I actually listen to a wide variety, you know, Mostly hip hop, rap, and R&B, but I also like to listen to a little bit of rock, uh, some country every here and there. Um, and I've recently just got into, you know, a lot of Christian rap too. Uh, recently, just to like help me stay strong in who I am and who and with my faith. So uh, yeah, those are just a few things I like to listen to. We believe and buy into everything Coach Creighton has done, and just give everything we got from the first quarter to the end, to the end of the. Uh, end of the buzzer at the end of the game you know that's that's how it's going to happen man just a bunch of hard work <laughs>